What a weekend. The Ring of Fire annular solar eclipse was not only a treat for people to view this weekend with your glasses, of course, it actually had an immediate effect on our weather. You see, an eclipse can actually have an impact on our weather briefly as the moon passes between the Earth and the sun. It kind of makes sense. If you think about our temperatures in the overnight when the sun sets, well, the temperatures will be affected when those sun's rays are obstructed. Even if it's not a total eclipse, it can impact what goes on on Earth. So I'll show you some evidence of what was seen when the path of the eclipse went right across uh, the desert southwest of the United States and all the way down to the deep south. So this was 8 a.m. on Saturday local time, the orange indicating warm temperatures. Well, then by 9 a.m. as it passed, you can see a lot less orange on that map indicating cooler temperatures at the surface. And this, you don't need to be a meteorologist to make sense of this. If blue means cold, look how much cooler it is down toward the deep south near Albuquerque, New Mexico, down through Dallas, San Antonio. And in fact, if we stick with the U.S. here in Norman, Oklahoma, a local meteorologist with the National Weather Service actually saw a, record, a drop in temperatures after it happened by 1.6 degrees Celsius in Norman, Oklahoma. So let's end with some more visuals and talk a little bit about why this can occur. The influence of a solar eclipse actually goes well beyond just temperature changes. Solar radiation paused for a brief period can affect winds, humidity, and even cloud cover. During this type of event, cooling of the air reduces the amount of heat in our atmosphere. And the reduction of heat can actually affect our atmosphere and make it more stable. We can even see clearing of clouds on Earth.